Hey there everybody, this is Desiree and I'm here working on a Sunday at the Red Fox Market but this morning what I did was I went out and I found a whole bunch of nettle, stinging nettle, er, in my backyard and it was really rich in nettle seeds. So this is the time of year when plants are starting to go to seed in preparation for the winter, I know, boo-hoo. Uh, but so when I saw all these perfectly formed, beautiful seeds, let's find the thing there so you can see them up close. They've not gone brown yet. They're kind of fluffy, almost like pearly looking, really pretty. Um, technically, these are still in flower and have not dried out and gone to full seed yet. Um, and I'm gonna post some pictures so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you know what to look for. Um, but so I picked all of these seeds and now I'm going to make a tincture. Yeah. So here we go. How do you make a tincture? Well first things first you need a, a glass jar and you need some herbs. So I'm just going to take all this nettle seed. By the way, the nettle seed is not only edible, pretty good too, but it does not sting, obviously. So the nettle is something that you can add to salads, or pardon me, the nettle seed <laughs> is something that you can add to salads. Um, I've even heard uh, people putting them in their yogurt like you would uh, flax seeds or hemp seeds. Um, but really, these things are so delicious and nutrient dense. They are an incredible source of energy, especially for people with chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue, um, fatigue from menopausal reasons, any kind of fatigue, adrenal fatigue, adrenal exhaustion. And so as you can see, I do have a few leaves in there as well because the tops of the plants um, are always the most energetically potent. So I used, I picked all the seeds off the entire stem and then I actually included the flowering um, top as well. I'm gonna leave this out just to munch on because <laughs> it's so tasty. I'm gonna leave a little, a little section for me just to snack on. So there's my snack. And then all the seeds going into a canning jar. Boom, wonderful. So now what? When you're making a tincture, you wanna use at least an 80 proof um, vodka. Use vodka usually because it has less taste than most uh, alcohols. You could use a brandy if you wanted to. You could use a whiskey. Some people do wine uh, infusions with herbs. And I'm just going to cover this with vodka. And the, the idea here is that you want to make sure that the plant material is completely covered. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go and get a spoon and kind of stuff all that down in there and make sure that it's completely covered. Um, you really don't have to do much else besides this. You wanna make sure the plant's covered with vodka. You're gonna sit it in a dark cabinet for six weeks. Um, allow that to just infuse. Just like when you make a tea, when you make a tincture, you're infusing a medicinal plant with a solvent, in this case, vodka. When you make a tea, the solvent is water. So that's the only difference. And not only that, but this lasts forever. Just like a bottle of vodka is gonna last forever, um, a tincture is gonna last forever as well, as long as it's cared for properly. Keeping it in a, in a dark cabinet, keeping it, storing it in glass, um, and not exposing it to sunlight or heat. So I'm gonna wait six weeks, and then I'm gonna strain this material through a fine mesh strainer. Uh, and then I'm gonna have a beautiful, energy balancing, supportive, nourishing tincture of stinging nettle, uh, stinging nettle seed with a little bit of leaf as well. So uh, if you have nettles in your yard, I urge you to go out and um, try some. Go ahead and eat some nettle seeds. They are really delicious. I was trying to figure out what they taste like. I would say akin to an asparagus uh, flavor, something like that. Uh, so check it out. Email me if you have questions about medicinal plants, Desiree at modernhippie.org or Desiree at Red Fox Market. Either way is fine. And um, come say hi. I'll see you soon. Bye.